In this video, we are going to create this Skyrim-like video game where we have the trees, background, grass, etc. We have wolf enemies and we can actually throw these axes and kill them. And then here we have a village where we have a bunch of NPCs walking around that fence and we are going to build this one only using AI without coding create this game we are going to use rosebud ai application which is used to vibe code games applications and websites you have a one month free promo code in the description below to try it out and create your own games this is going to be so much fun let's start let's start with something simple we need a foundation for our game so we are creating something like skyrim so that is first person 3d fantasy rpg and i'm just going to say in 3js because i know javascript i know typescript if i need to tweak something i'm easily going to do it if i just need to change text or anything i don't know so let's see what is now happening so ai is creating us a game let's see what kind of features are we going to have in this first version so Here's what he's building. Let's see here. A magical 3D fantasy environment with trees and terrain to explore. Nice. First person player controls so we can walk around the world. A simple character stats display showing health and level. A day-night cycle. Even a day-night cycle. I didn't expect this. And a collision detection so we, can, we can't walk through objects. And beautiful lighting effects to enhance the fantasy feel. This is really nice if he builds everything from this just first simple prompt i'm going to be really impressed and here it is we have our first prompt finished i'm going to speed up things a little bit so you don't wait for every ai prompt that i give to him so we have here first version of our game i'm going to make it a full screen so we have this click to play and we are moving on the classic wasd so let's try it out okay so now we are inside of our game everything is black and it's I, I think this is probably that night cycle and we have to wait for the day cycle but we can change of course everything so what are we missing currently definitely is some kind of texture here on the floor so let's try to add that one now we have one really nice feature here as you can see we have preview of our game assets and code so i'm going to assets and here we can create our own assets images or whatever we need so i'm going to create an image and i'm going to call it grass texture and just put repeatable like this and i'm going to create it so let's see what are we going to get and here it is we have we can maybe better use this second one and now when i press insert here we are getting a prompt please add and then this asset to the scene and i'm just going to click a prompt for that one and we are going to get this texture on the floor so he knows exactly what he needs to do you see here we have a create terrain uh, function and now he's changing it he's creating a ground and we heard that sound primp and now we can go again to our game and here we can see that we have grass on our ground which is really awesome it's really easy to add anything that we want inside of this whole like let's say atmosphere of the game we even have a sun back there so let's try now to make it we need a little bit of light here everything is too dark so we need to make it lighter let's try that one out so we can say now here something is wrong with the lightning everything is too dark or let's say trees and ground too dark and now i think it's looking much better so here we can see now the grass and the trees and everything so now let's try to add something new to the map let's try to add couple of houses so let's say add medieval houses let's just say that so we can see what is he going to build then we can upgrade them however we like so here he's creating a terrain creating a forest that one 
was there already. Now we have create village and that one is going to create a small medieval village. We have house position, so everything is hard coded. We can make that everything to be random. So he finished, we heard, Doo -doo -doo -doo. let's see where are the houses and how are they looking. So I don't see, oh, there they are. Okay, they're too small. So we need bigger houses and we need to add some textures on those houses so they can look nice. So let's try it out. I'm going to add here a new asset and we are going to say medieval house stone texture. Let's just say it like that, repeatable. So we can use it on our houses. So we are going to insert this one to the scene on the houses. And let's see what is he going to create. This one should be quick. So updating the houses and the textures. And now it's probably going to look much better and realistic. And let's try it out. So now, yeah, so now the houses have the texture. Okay, this one is looking much better. Nice. And great thing is that here AI is already telling us what can we do next to upgrade the game. So he said here, let's add a wooden fence around the village to define the settlement area and enhance the medieval atmosphere. And we can just copy and paste that one here and he's going to create a wooden fence. So even when you don't know what to do next, He's giving you their advices for your game so it can look better than it is currently. And that one is really awesome. I tried it a couple of, I created a couple of games and I always follow what is AI saying to me. And those are the things that I don't think of. Okay, this fence is not good. It's not uh, merging. So we need to tell him to fix this. But anyway, this one is already looking much better. And let's just fix the fence, fix this lighting again a little bit, and then we can add some weapons, enemies, etc. Let's quickly say the fence is not merging like this. Now, how does it look? So where is the... Okay, so now we have fence only on one side, but at least it's straight. So this one is okay. This one is looking good. Let's now make the houses bigger. So I'm going to say make the houses two times bigger. Let's try it out. So now da -da 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 -da, it's done. And okay, now it's looking good. So the houses are really big and they're merging a little bit. So we must say that he needs to spread it around and then we can add more details to this entire village. So I'm going to say spread houses around. They are now merging. Okay, that one is done. Let's test it out. So here quickly we can see, yeah, they're not now not overlapping. That's awesome. Let's now begin with the game logic. So I'm going to say add a cross here. And that one should add it on my mouse. Here it is. So now we can see that we have a simple looking cross here, which is really nice. That one is giving us again that Skyrim feeling. And next thing that we need to do is to say on first mouse click, throw an axe. And that's just it. Throw an axe. Let's see if he's going to add that one easily. So implementing X throwing mechanic when the player first clicks the mouse button. It is, let's try it out. So now when I click first click, I don't, oh, it's actually my right click. Okay. So we have some kind of ice cream axis. It looks more like an ice cream than an axe, but that one is fine. It even has a physics. You can see it's falling down. It's not going like to distance forever. So this one is really nice. Now we can add collision and let's see what is he. So he said add a cooldown indicator to show when you can throw an X. Okay, we don't need that. We're just say, going to say add collision for the axes. So we can hit trees, 
spouses, etc. And then when we have the collision, after that we can add NPCs, enemies, and whatever we need. So we can actually hit something with these ice cream axes. Let's hit something with the axe. I'm going full screen and we need to hit the house. Oh, nice! We even have these particles like coming out when we hit something. Is it working? No, it's not working on the floor, but it's probably working on the trees and things like that. Okay, this one is actually really awesome. So now we are ready to add some enemies. It's working also on the trees, but not on the up, only here on the tree trunk. Awesome. So now let's add some wolves. So add wolves as enemies. And this one is going to be interesting. Okay, let's kill some wolves. So let's see what... There is one wolf there in the forest. Okay, it looks more like a sheep. But let's see. And is he walking towards us? No? Yeah, he's walking, but in, in different direction. Oh my god, it's a demon wolf. Okay, I'm going to throw an axe. And I actually killed him. Nice. He's so ugly. He disappeared. Okay. Do we have... Oh, we have a bunch of wolves. Okay, so let's kill one more. So we definitely need to fix their... Okay, this one is actually walking towards me. And every wolf can be killed. That's good. And we need to add definitely more details. They're looking like demonic sheep and not like wolves. So let's say add more details to wolves like hair, teeth etc let's see how are they looking now if they're still like demonic sheep so he has ears i can already see it from the distance and he's still a little bit ugly but much better i think than before he has now these teeth and he's like a pit bull pit bull is nice it can be an enemy so that one is good let's now add some npcs Add human NPCs to the village. Let's see the NPCs. So going inside the village. And are these our NPCs? These. Okay, they're really small. They're... Oh my god, this one is even a... Is he a cop? No, he has some like cop hat. Okay, we have Lego NPCs. That one is nice. They need to be bigger. Uh, NPCs need to be double the size. Let's see what we have now. So I'm going to check the village. Okay, we have a bunch of NPCs. They're all looking a little bit different. So that one is really good. We even have the shadows. That's really nice. So let's now add more details to this village and generally to the whole map. Let's make these trees look better to add some background like some mountains or some, something like that. So first thing I'm going to say, add more details to the trees. Whoa, we can really see that now it's looking much better. So we have now the trees looking like this. Awesome. Now we can create a new asset and let's do it like this with the background removed. So we can create a mountain background. Let's see how is it going to look. So we can add it maybe only on one side. Or let's see how is AI going to... Okay, this is looking nice. So I'm inserting this mountain background to the scene. Oh, this one is actually looking really good. We just need to fill in the gap here beneath the mountain. So let's say add some distance forest background. Okay, so we have the trees. Let's try just to move this image if possible to be lower. So this mountain background, please move this background lower. And just remove this to the scene. And let's see now. So we have, oh, now it's actually really good. So we have the mountain in the distance. Then here we have this village with NPCs and we have wolves roaming around so we can kill them. I think we have really a good starting point to continue creating our game. We could create, of course, a bunch of stuff. We could create interior of these houses. We can 
create like to talk with the npcs to have more enemies we can create some lightning spell or whatever we can think of so we just need time and i think that rosebud is really a great ai tool to create something like this my dream was always to create games so this is really a great opportunity to be a developer at least to, to create something simple like this it's a dream come true and now we can even publish it so here we can publish the game here on rosebud so other people can play it and even tweak and edit our game and we can also download the zip file so we can open it locally and deploy it wherever we like so we can deploy it on a server and make it publicly available for people to play our game so tell me in the comments below what do you think about rosebud ai and would you rather vibe code your game or build it from scratch yourself i hope you enjoyed the video for more content like this join the mighty horde subscribe